than anybody's roof. I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me. I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim The Dream. I'm a 15 year old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, slaying trolls is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Good YouTube. So today I'll be giving my official prediction for Gary Russell Jr. versus Mark Michael. So the fight is set to happen tomorrow. I think it's going to be a good fight between two very skilled and talented fighters. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. is a very explosive, very fast fighter. He's very technically sound. He has good defense, uh, very good footwork, and he has very good timing. Mark Michael is a boxer puncher. He has also also has good timing. He has vicious power. He brutally knocked out his last opponent, Seha, in the 10th round with a beautiful right hand. Uh, he definitely is a combination puncher. He has good boxing skills, technically sound, like I said. Um, but I don't think that he has the experience needed to beat Gary Russell Jr. Uh, if you look at his last fight um, against Seha, Seha was able to drop Mark Michael. So in the fifth round, he was able to mostly, for the most part of the fight, uh, completely dominate the fight, you know, brutalizing Michael So with body shots, uh, getting on the inside, getting rough with him. Mark Michael So was having ineffective work, trying to throw combinations off the back foot, and he was missing a lot of his punches. He also was getting hit with a lot of his punches. So to me, his main weaknesses are his, he gets hit a lot. He's um, unable to fight off the back foot. And that his stamina is also very questionable because um, he got his second win around the 10th or 11th round. And by that time, Mark, not Mark Michael, I mean, I see how I had racked up a lot of points in by that round. And yes, he did knock him out, but he also got dropped in that fight. And Gary Russell Jr., he's not the biggest puncher, but he definitely does have power. He has 31 fights and 18 knockouts. Uh, Mark Michael so is the bigger fighter. He is five foot six with 68 inch arm reach. Gary Russell Jr. is five foot four with a 64 inch arm reach. I think that's going to play somewhat of a factor into this fight. I can see the first five or six rounds being competitive. I think Mark Michaels is going to be able to land combinations on Gary Russell Jr. He is explosive. Um, you know, like I said, for the first five rounds, I can see him landing his beautiful left hook, his right hand. But I see Gary Russell Jr. starting to, um, you know, figure Mark Michaels out, start to counter him very well. Uh, use his timing on shots and start to outpunch Michael So and start to rack up points in the win. Uh, I think he's going to use his right hook beautifully when um, Michael So is starting to come in and try to land his punches. He's going to be slipping Mark Michael So punches and catching him with counter shots. Um, I think that Mark Michael So, like I said, is a good fighter. But if you look at one, another one of his fights, I can't remember the fighter's name, but in that fight, um, he was getting hit with a lot of punches. And Gary Russell Jr., like I said, he has the fastest hands in the sport of boxing. He just picks you apart. And then, like I said, they, that's what I think he's going to do to um, Mark Michael. So after the sixth, seventh round, we're going to start to see him use his jab, uh, counter Michael. So make him miss a lot of his shots. And I think even at some points in the fight, we're going to start to see him bully my Michael. So onto the ropes because Michael also has a problem fighting off the back foot, like I said. And um, Gary Russell Jr. has shown that he can't fight in the pocket with bigger men in the ring. Like I said, I think this is going to be a good fight, but I don't think that um, Mark Michaelso is going to need more experience and more time with better fighters in order to beat somebody like Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. only has one loss for Lomachenko, and since that loss, he's gotten a lot better. He's gotten a lot more technically skilled. Um, his defense has gotten better. Like I said, I think this is going to be a good fight, but I think Mark Michaelso is going to get outclassed with uh, eight rounds for Gary Russell Jr. or seven rounds for Gary Russell Jr. and five or four rounds for Mark Michaelso. I can't wait to see this fight, though. It's going to be a good one. But to wrap this up, this is not seeming the dream. Rocking chairs, next to sleep. Aha, ciao, another one. Peace.